college football teams looking to make a solid start this year in the week one matchups. Game day's Desmond Howard, former Heisman Trophy winner, Super Bowl MVP, best dress 2004. <laughs> the resume keeps getting longer. Nice. Desmond, good morning to you. Looking good. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. All right. Tell us about the game where you are there. Number seven, Notre Dame uh, versus 20, Texas A&M. What do you got tonight? I tell you what, this is going to be a great matchup. There's so many storylines in this in this game. You got Mike Elko, who's the coach of the Texas A&M Aggies. He used to coach the quarterback for Notre Dame. So there's a lot of storylines. I think the biggest storyline, though, is going to be Notre Dame's offensive line. They're starting two new tackles. These guys will have a lot of experience. And I tell you what, they don't call this place the 12th man for nothing. They get loud. They get rowdy. It's going to be crazy. I want to see how they affect the crowd noise affects the offensive line for Notre Dame. Coming in here with the quarterback, Riley Leonard, who used to play for Mike Elko. Well, they're loud and rowdy behind you, Desmond. Hey, you got a massive game in Atlanta today at noon Eastern on ABC between number 14 Clemson and number one Georgia. So what your fans expect to see from the number one team in the country? I tell you what, the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, coming in with quarterback Carson Beck. You know, he's a guy who had a really, really strong season a year ago. I think they're still kind of hurt that they didn't make the CFP because they lost Alabama in the SEC championship game. But they're not making a lot of noise about it. I think they're just going about their business. They're kind of like laying in the weeds. They're number one, but they're not making a lot of noise. I expect them to come out and play a high-spirited game against the Clemson Tigers in Atlanta today. Desmond, we are all so excited that football is finally back. We are kicking off week one, of course, of the season. What are the other big storylines you're watching? Well, the biggest storyline is the 12-team playoff format. Now, it used to be four teams. Now we have 12 teams, meaning more teams have hope of making the college football playoff. So even if you lose in week one, like Florida State, Florida State, they lost in week zero. But... Their hopes and dreams and everything is still ahead of them as long as they can get back on track. So no matter who wins and loses early, you still have a hope. You still have hopes of making it to the CFP. So that's the storyline. But now it's all about Kyle Field, right, everybody? The 12th man, let's go! The 12th man, indeed. He called the fight Irish tonight! <laughs> oh, all looking about good the 12th there. man, baby. Oh, all right. fun out there. Wow. You can catch College Game Day Live from Texas A&M starting at 9 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. Then our Labor Day weekend ESPN and ABC college football lineup has Notre Dame at Texas A&M. That is primetime on ABC at 730. Looking forward to all of those games.